Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jack Attack 45, and today I have a Centurion Mark 1 Tier 8 British Medium tank review for you all. Have an awesome little gameplay. Gonna look at the armor s scheme for this glorious, glorious British tank, which I have fallen in love with over the last couple days. And then we will be looking at the end game stats. And I hope you guys do enjoy this tank. Very, very fun. Easily one of my favorite medium tanks in the game. So, guys, enjoy. We're going to go check out the armor. And here we are over at Tank Inspector. And if you guys have never used Tank Inspector before, awesome, awesome tool to improve your game. If you want to know where weak spots are on tanks, what armor values of certain Capolas is, as you can see, the British Capola, very, very, very tiny up there, and it has very, very good armor. Certain stuff like that, this is the program for you. Definitely an awesome program. And you can also see armor layouts as well. If you've never seen it below. If you've never seen it, I'll try to link it below. But we're going to talk about the Centurion. Keep talking about the Centurion. As you guys know, hopefully already, Centurion, upper plate, lower plate, very, very weak. 76 millimeters. Does have a strip of 110 here, but if you hit that right there, it is very, very unlucky if you're going against Centurion. As you can see, side armor, 53. Side of the turret is actually 114, so the turret all around is actually pretty strong. And, of course, that is why I love this glorious British tank so much. 38. Uh, rear armor and obviously you do not want to be getting shot in that rear action so let's talk about the turret first of all I'm gonna show you guys the amount of gun depression on this tank one cool feature about world tanks viewer is you can see the amount of gun depression and I think it is actually 10 degrees of gun depression which is pretty awesome one of the reasons why I love this tank so much let's put it back at the normal layout here but as you can see from the front, this turret is extremely, extremely troll. Lots of spaced armor in here. Um, as you can see, there's 200 millimeters of spaced armor right at the middle. And then as you get a little bit farther out, we do have 100 millimeters of spaced armor. But actually behind that, we also have 165 millimeters of armor. And then this 165 millimeter plate goes all the way behind that spaced armor, which is very, very awesome. The one problem with this turret is, is you do have a little strip here of 110 millimeters of armor. Now, if you are actually going hold down behind something and you have it a little bit more angled, if you're looking down a hill or something like that, it is very, very hard to pen that top of that turret. But if you are looking straight on, this is where you want to shoot a Centurion if you can only see the turret. It is a very small target, but at the same time, any gun that comes up against Centurion can pretty much pen this, as well as obviously the whole armor. If you have the whole armor to shoot at, very, very easy target as well. Now, the Coppola, very, very tiny little strip there at the top. Very, very hard to actually be able to shoot that, so I definitely would not recommend trying to shoot the Coppola. Like I said, just go for this strip of 112 millimeters. And we will uh, continue with the gameplay. Like I said, guys, if you have never seen World of Tanks Inspector, make sure to go check it out. Very, very cool program, and it definitely shows you uh, definitely where to pin uh, tanks like this as well. So we'll go move on to the gameplay. And as you can see, we are going to be playing a little bit of Erlenberg today, and we are on my glorious, glorious Centurion 1. Now, I really... Don't know how I feel about this map, to be honest. I they did they have fixed it apparently, but um, I'm not really sure about this map. But the good thing about this game is I actually have two of my QSF buddies. Shouts out to them, Mr. Clickenhoff and Mr. Gordon. I like to call him that because I don't really know how to pronounce his name. Sorry. If I don't even want to try. I really don't. But they are both very, very good players, and I love playing with these two. As you can see, we do have a 62% chance to win this game, but that is because of our platoon. So if we do anything silly, um, I said silly, silly, si 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 silly. Oh lord! Yes, Klickenhoff has just drowned himself, and as you will see right here, his tank disappears from the battle. So we are gonna actually start off with a two-person platoon in this game. Now, it was funny because. <laughs> what we're, me and Gordon were talking about was the fact that uh, we needed to find a replay where me and him did pretty well and uh, Mr. Click did some funny stuff because Click does like to do some interesting things during games. But 
Guys, this is about the Centurion 1. What do I love about this tank? Well, first of all, as you saw, turret armor is incredibly incredibly troll that gun mantlet provides you with some amazing amazing armor and of course mr click says he slipped he's very very sorry but i don't think he actually slipped i think he just accidentally drove into the water so hey that's gonna happen but we are seeing the glorious turret armor right off the bat nice shots into the kv1s and the kv2 shaving off a nice little bit of health there and we already are getting a couple bounces. The Cheeto actually pens my turret, and let's actually go and see where that one penned. As you can see, right outside of the gun mantlet. So the problem with the problem with the gun mantlet is is that it doesn't cover the whole tank. If it covered the whole tank, the turret would be impenetrable. So obviously, it has to be a little bit balanced. Um, but as you can see, that was a perfect hold down position. That is one of the most aggressive positions that I like to take on this map right off the bat. You can use your gun depression. You can use your speed. And the best thing about the Centurion is I don't even have the top engine yet, and this thing is still very, very quick. So, Centurion, amazing turret armor, great gun. I love this gun. Uh, I think the re or the reload counter is a little bit bugged there. It does say 3.72 seconds for some reason, but it actually is about uh, right under 7 seconds. Hopefully next time I shoot it will uh, pop up the right... Yep, there you go. 6.9 seconds. I don't know why that was bugged. But um, 6.9 seconds, awesome. Nice alpha damage at 240. And we'll just go over the gun stats here really quick. 226 pen. Oh, I didn't even know. It was only 230 alpha average. So awesome little gun on this tank. Well, not little. It's got, a, it's got a decent amount of alpha, which is nice. But, okay, so awesome turret armor. The whole armor, like we saw in Tank Inspector, leaves a little bit to be desired. So what you want to do is you want to be working these hills just like I am here. If you can't find a spot where you, you only expose your turret, I wouldn't take the risk. And this is actually kind of a silly play here. I did uh, not shoot the Lerva, which I Lerva has to be my priority target in this situation. Nashorn is very, very squishy, very easy to kill, but the next priority target is going to be the FV207. And as you can see, he's one of their, he is their best player on the team. So I want to get him out of the game as soon as possible, of course, because you know everybody loves artillery. I'm very unlucky that that shot on the Lerva did not pen there. And actually, what you're going to see here is the vertical stabilizers coming into play. Nice shot there on the back left corner of the FV. So he is out right there, which is very, very good for me. And I am very happy to see him go bye-bye because I do not like artillery. So now we can work our amazing DPM right now. Well... I say amazing, it's only 1600, but it feels amazing to me because I'm so used to the Comet and the very low alpha damage. It just looks so great when you hit for an average of 230 alpha damage per shot. Um, being used to that Comet uh, very low, low alpha. I think it's 135, eh, 145, not really ideal. But turret armor, amazing. Gun depression, amazing. The one thing that does limit the Centurion's ability is the it only has a 40 kilometer per hour top speed limit which is a problem continuing up through the centurion 71 and the fv the tier 10 british medium which they i think they are thinking about reworking into the game they're not really sure um how it fits in there i'm not really sure how it fits in there but uh, historically you know they're not really sure how it fit in but back to centurion you know 40 kilometers is fine but at the same time you know, you can't really be a flanking medium with this tank. You're more of a sniper, definitely more of a sniper, you know, more hold down. And to me personally, I play American tanks a very, very lot. And sadly, that one did not go in. I tried to snapshot that one a little bit. Not the best shot, but you're going to see the amazing accuracy on this gun right here. I'm going to be sniping him, sniping that Lerva. Um, that was a 600 meter shot, so pretty awesome to see that one right there go in. And of course, the penetration is awesome. When you get a top tier match like this, you can pen anything you come across, which is very, very fun. I, that's one of the things I really like about any type of tank gun that I use. You know, if you can pen everything, not have to worry about shooting at weak spots for most of the tanks. Obviously, for the Lerva and uh, top tier tanks like that, I'm going to have to worry about shooting those lower plates, shooting that side armor. But um, anything else, I can shoot wherever I want. And that T71 felt the brunt of my uh, 208 alpha there. As of right now, 3 kills, 3k damage. You're seeing this gun putting, going to work right now. I mean, this gun, it just feels... it. The DPM does not feel as high, but for some reason, I just feel like I am able to output so much more damage than I did with the Comet. The Comet, I really had to always be out, you know, in, in the danger zone, really. And it, with this tank, I can always hide behind cover. Even though the Comet does have that great turret armor, just like the Centurion, I always feel like I can be kind of 
moving in and out, you know, letting my reload work, and then popping back out to get that shot in. So as you can see, Lerva just got absolutely denied, and I'm actually going to sit on this cap here because I wanted to make sure that we won, because <laughs> I don't like Assault, but uh, Click and uh, Gordon actually do, so they have Assault enabled. So as you guys saw there, awesome, awesome game. And we're actually going to go look at the stats right now. And as you can see right there, that was this is actually part of the times two for all wins this weekend. So that was 3.6k experience, three almost 3.7, 57,000 credits uh, made there with the premium, obviously, and 3.4k uh, damage, which is awesome. Love to see that damage a very lot of tanks on the enemy team. As you can see, sorting by damage, I actually finished top on damage by about 2,000 damage, which is really, really awesome. I mean, when you get this gun working, like I said, very, very cool to see. Um, let's let's look at some um, pretty good... No, just kidding. So, back to three kills. 1.1k um, 1. 1, <laughs> 1. experience. This was not my mastery badge, sadly. I think once I get the upgraded engine, I will be able to get a mastery badge on this thing. I've gotten a bunch of first classes on it, but I've really, really enjoyed this tank. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite tanks and I think I actually average about a thousand experience in this tank as well as about a 65 percent win rate so if you guys want to go check out the Centurion make sure to go out and pick it up awesome awesome tier 8 medium one of my favorite tier 8 mediums at the moment um, it's up there with the object 416 and it is just a blast to play so guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like thank you all for coming out from reddit i really appreciate the support you guys gave me on yesterday's video if you'd like to see more make sure to drop a like make sure to drop a comment let me know i will also have a reddit post so you can go out and check that out as well drop a like on that guys thank you for all the support you've been showing recently and i hope you guys enjoyed another world of tanks day of fun guys it's been jacket tech 45 signing out peace